my viewer, once again I have come your yeah, way with further teaching on fish farming. It's a follow up of the last video I made concerning uh, preparation of the fish ponds. The last video took care of getting the pond fertilized and also how to identify the pH level of the water in the pond before evaporating it. That was exactly what we did to the la on the last video. <clears throat> so having done that, <coughs> I told you on the last video that we are going to evacuate the water in the pond and remove the dry plantain leaves, which you can see around, and then fill the pond again with the fresh water. Now, if you look at the pond now, we have filled it with a fresh water. Getting set by this evening, of course, the, the the juveniles will arrive, and also I will also teach you how to produce. All of these things have procedures, methods of doing it successfully. So I will also teach you how to introduce those uh, juveniles or the fish into the pond. But now. We are going to do something that is not common among fish farmers, and that is how to take care of the acidic water. You now, this water in the pond is just direct from the borehole, and of course, you know, every borehole water is acidic, naturally, it's acidic. So, if you put your fish here, it is not that they will die immediately, but the water will not be conducive for them because the water is acidic so what we are going to do now is getting something into the pond that will help to improve the water level yeah, that is exactly what i want to teach you now it's just very simple i know most of the times you see these things and you don't think it will be useful it will be useful for your pond but this is exactly what will do the magic watch me as i do it step by step you know these chippies are dirty i cannot just pour them into this pond all the all in the name of trying to get improve the acidic water i will still have to make sure that the chipping i'm pouring into the pond is neat so that it does not contaminate the pond water so i, I have to wash Okay, you see, it's already dirty. It has already condemned the, this water already. So, having washed it off every day, you can see it. So, what I will now do is to transfer the same. Watch me as I do it is to transfer the same into the pond. To transfer the same into the pond. That's exactly what I'm doing. If I have the liquid pH tester, I would have tested this water for you to exactly confirm what we are trying to do.
Yes, I am done introducing the chippings. As so long as this very chipping is in this water, when you put in a new water, the chipping will help to normalize it to the normal pH level. Like I said to you already, every water from the borehole is acidic. And this acidity will always be a problem to the fish. So for you to uh, give your fish a comfortable, a comfortable place of abode, this is very cheap and it's important that you have it in the pond, especially if you are using concrete pond. So this chipping now will help to improve when the uh, acidic water enters into the pond. As a result of the chipping in the pond, it will help to bring it up to normal. So that's why if you test uh, after like for some few hours, you will see this water reading 7.0 zero to seven point six so that is the secret for what i have just done now and you know if you if you allow the water to remain so long as this water is in this very form with the chickens it will continue to improve it it will continue to improve it it will improve it to the level you will begin to see the water change to alkaline because it has passed the, uh, the level of the normal pH. So that is the secret why you see people every two, three days, every four, four days, they change the water and bring in a new water. It is not just to take care of the odor that comes from the fish pond, but also to ensure that when this chipping has raised the pH level of the water to uh, alkaline, it is no longer useful that that water remains. So what you do is you evacuate it then introduce a new water and the chicken will continue also to improve that water to raise it up until it gets to normal when it is like three four days by that time it would have taken this water to alkaline you remove the water and put the fresh water that is the secret and i encourage you to do that especially if you've been having problem with your pond maybe you have a concrete pond you feed the fish very well they are not growing they remain at the same size, no improvement, or you have a problem that from time to time your fish dies in the pond. This may be the reason why they are dying. And as you make this change, you begin to see positive improvement in your pond. I want you to keep watching my videos. In fact, uh, possibly you, I will encourage you to subscribe to that. From time to time, I will bring in, in videos like this to teach you some secret in this farming. And uh, as you keep in tune with me, you will be privileged to be watching to, uh, some of these videos uh, from time to time. God bless you. I want to leave you for now. I will still come back again to teach you how to introduce because this very pond is not ready to receive fish. When that fish arrives, I'll also bring it, bring the video back for you to watch how to successfully introduce these breeds. You know, you need to get them acclimatized into uh, the, the, the pond.